Man, so what should you be doing? Exactly. That is your example. Right. Yes. That is your example. But if he's going to follow what you do, what do you have to show him? You have to show him what's right and what is and what's right according to the Bible, the commandments. Give me, give me Sirach thirty. Hey, brother, what was what was your name? So Bruh, what was your name? Yeah, what was your name? Chris Scott. Chris Scott. Yeah, Chris Scott. We got. I'm gonna show you something about how we about how we have to conduct ourselves for the little man right here. What's your name, little man? Say it again. Amari Aham. Oh, praises. All right. So we listen up. Listen up, real quick. Give me a uh, thirty and thirty and three. Start at three. Sirach chapter thirty and verse three. Read. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. So, so that right there said, he that teaches his son grieveth the enemy, right? Who's our enemy today? White man. Right, that's one of them. That's just one of the enemy. We got many of them. All the other nations, they hate us, bro. Right. It's as simple as that. They hate us. So this right here said, he that teaches his son grieveth the enemy. So you teaching your kid the laws that the Most High has set up for us to follow, they hate that. Right. They are scared. We make them scared whenever we do that. So whenever we teach our sons to stand up like men and keep the commandments, the heathen, the other nations are scared. Read. Right. And before his friends, he shall rejoice of him. So whenever we teach our kids before your friends, you're going to rejoice of your son. That's my son right there. You're going to be proud of that thing. You're going to be like, yo, he's living according to the most high God. He ain't in no trouble. He's keeping the commandments. He's keeping the Sabbath. He wearing his fringes. And you're going to be like, I'm proud of him. Right. Read. Verse 4, though his father die. So so whenever you do pass away, because I got to die too, I got a son. I got to die too. I got a son just like you got a son. So whenever you leave the earth, read. read. Verse 4, though his father die, uh -huh. yet he is as though he were not dead. Because he's just like you. Right. So you keeping the commandments, you teach him to keep the commandments, he's just like you. But there's also a flip side. Because that right there also can go against us. So if we don't keep the commandments as our kids going to keep them. No, they're going to be just like us, right? So we have to break that mold so that we can be proud of our kids so that the Most High can have mercy on us because you're, you're teaching your son and your son, he's going to end up teaching his son and he's going to keep on going in generations. Read. For he had left one behind that is like himself. Just like yourself. So as long as we come back to the commandments, man, and you come back and keep the laws, your son is going to grow up in these laws and he's not going to depart. Read. Right. While he lived, he saw and rejoiced in him. Uh -huh. And when he dead, he, he was not sorrowful. Read. Verse 6. He left behind him an avenger. A what? An avenger. A what? An avenger. So, brother, you want to leave behind an avenger. Right. You want to leave behind a man. You do not want to leave behind boys because when we look down here at this bus stop, that's what our kids turn into when we don't teach them the commandments. Because right. aren't we as fathers commanded to teach the commandments? Because we have to leave up behind avengers. Right. People to carry on this when we gone. Bring so if we ain't so if we don't actually do that, can they keep it going? If we don't teach them? Because because our inheritance is the commandments, right? So if we don't even give them their inheritance from the Most High God, they don't know who they are. Bro. Now they walk by. I don't know that. I'm an Israelite. They walk by saying I'm an African American now. He doesn't know that he, if he goes down and lay down with a sister that he must marry her because he wasn't taught that. He was taught, go out here and sleep with this woman, go sleep with that woman, and then settle down after you sow your royal seeds. That's what our people say. At least that's what I was told. You see what I'm saying? And that's wrong. Right. That is wrong for us to do. But if he finds out and learns the, the commandments of the black Messiah, because the white, the, the, this, this, look, this false image right here is what's been teaching us all this so long. And that's why we jacked up. Right. That's why we jacked up. So give me a, give me a first Kings two, first Kings two, because we are commanded to teach our children because right now our men, we are not men. We say we men, we men in age, but we are not men by actions. How you doing, brother? How you doing right there, brother? You good? I'm good. I ain't good. You're not good. I'll pray. That's a great answer. Stay right here. Read. First Kings, chapter 2, verse 2. Read. I go the way of all the earth. Uh huh. Be thou strong, therefore. So it says, be thou strong, therefore. So it says, be thou strong, therefore. Read. And show thyself a man. And show thyself a man. So now it's about to tell us how we be men. Because I wasn't a man before I came into this. I was not a man. 
I had to admit that thing to myself. You see what I'm saying? Read. Verse 3. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. Read. To walk in his ways. Uh-huh. To keep his statutes. Uh-huh. And his commandments. So that right there says in order for us to, to call ourselves men according to God, we have to keep the commandments. The brother went over a few with you. How you doing, bro? Going Got a few you. minutes? Yeah, go ahead and talk. All praises. So like we're going over about how important it is for the black man to stand up and teach their kids because we have to teach our kids so they can be avengers and carry this on when we gone. That's right. So this right here actually says, read from the top again of that verse. Verse 3. Verse 3. Bring it out. And keep the choice of the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. To walk in his way, uh -huh. to keep his statutes, Read. and his commandments. So this right here actually tells you how to be a man. Keep the commandments. It's not. It's, it's just that simple. Because we think we men, if we just go to a job, and then we just pay bills. That's not all that comes with the commandments, is it? Because in order for us to say we fathers and, and, and men, what do we have to do? Obey the commandments, but what's That's included right. in the commandments? Keeping the Sabbath is a commandment, ain't it? Right. Wearing fringes is a commandment, ain't it? Right. Those all go into being men because when people actually don't do those things, what are they saying? They don't love God. Exactly. So if you say you don't love God, will you love God? No. Exactly. So you know you Israel like the brother was going over, right? So men, so what should you be doing? Exactly. That is your example. That's right. That is your example. But if he's going to follow what you do, what do you have to show him? You have to show him what's right and what is and what's right according to the Bible, the commandments. Right. Even though sometimes your family might turn on you. So, because being a man, sometimes you got to stand up even in the, in the face of adversity. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. So even and that and that's also going to show him how to do it. That he's not going to be weak. He's not going to follow a crowd because this is what our kids are falling into now. Give me Proverbs one and sixteen. Bring it out. Proverbs one and sixteen. Because this right here is what our kids have fallen into now because we are not at home teaching them. Because we are actually showing them this because we was at home teaching them and not leaving the woman, actually marrying the woman, and then learning the commandments and showing our families they would not fall into this right here. Uh, let's see, let's see. No, 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 no. I actually want 10. Start at 10. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10. Read. My son, if sinners entice thee. So it said, my son, if sinners entice you. If sinners come up to you, hey, let's go do this. Let's go rob this person. Let's go kill these people. Hey, ride with me, bro. Ride with me. Ride or die. Right. Read. Consent thou not. It says, consent thou not. Don't follow them. Read. Verse 11. If they say, come with us. Let us lay wait for blood. So it said, if they say, come with us, let us wait for blood. What does that sound like? A group of people that says, come with us, let's wait for blood. That's your gang members. That's your drug dealers. Those are those people. And that's what he'll turn into if you don't show him the opposite. That's right. That's what he'll turn into. Read. Bring it out. Let us lurk privily for the innocent. Let us lurk privily. That's what they, you know, you know the term lurking? Hey, that brother over there lurking. You know what I mean? They even got that stuff in songs and stuff. They sneaking up on old women and men, beating them up, taking all their money, robbing them. Hello. That's in the Bible. Right. And if we don't, as fathers, teach our sons, they're going to follow right behind that because that's what they see when they go in these schools, and that's what they see every day on the corner. Right. Read. Without cause, verse 12, let us swallow them up uh -huh. alive uh -huh. as the grave. So it says, let us swallow him up alive as the grave. We gonna kill him. <laughs> we finna run up in there and hit this lick in this man's house. We finna kill him. You gonna ride with me, bro? Yeah, I'm going. This right here says, don't do that. Bring it out. Do not bro. follow games. Read. Uh, and and ho, as those that go down into the pit. Verse 13. We shall find our preciousness substance. Read from top again on that verse. Verse 13. We shall find our precious substance so it says we shall find our precious substance so they're gonna go rob people and take it and they call that precious substance it don't even belong to them right Read. we shall fill our houses with the spoils so when they walk in there they're gonna steal your playstation they're gonna steal your furniture they're gonna steal everything you got matter of fact that car park we're gonna go steal it you know ain't that what ain't that what our people caught up in today that's what we caught up in today read verse 14 cast in thy lots among us uh-huh let us all have one purse. So we're going to have one purse. This is a big old game. Everybody go do your job, and we're going to bring it all back right here to this house where we at, the hangout spot. Read. Verse 15, my son, 
Walk not thou in the way with them. So it said, my son. So when you talk to him, you're going to say, my son. Do not walk in the way of these gang members. Bring it out. Do not come up in here doing that stuff. Because what's supposed to happen to him if he do? If he start following that stuff, you see him very off. What are you supposed to do? I'm supposed to correct him. You supposed to correct him. That's Hold right. that and go back to Surat 30 and 1. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen why you walk away. Listen why you walk away. So what? So what? Chapter 30 and verse 1. He walk. that loveth his son. So it says, he that loveth his son. Read. Causeth him off to feel the rod. It says, causes him off to feel the rod. Meaning you're going to give him a beat. That's you are not going to allow your son to wild out and don't do nothing. That's how we end up on these street corners. Right. That's how we ended up like this in the first place because our fathers left the house and now we have allowed ourselves to fall this far. Bring it right. out. We don't even know what to teach our kids. Right. Come talk to me, sis. Yes, come talk to me. Come talk to me, sis. Come talk to me. Finish that. Read on. That he may have joy of him in the end. So whenever we chastise our kids, we are going to have joy of them in the end because we're going to teach them God's laws. And when they go off, we're going to correct them. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org